Capricorn. Welcome to your singles reading for October. This is for Capricorn singles. Who's coming towards me? So we're going to look at who, when, where, how, what, your advice. We'll get a couple signs of the Zodiac Oracle. And I have a lot of decks here, and I know it looks a little overwhelming, but I promise I'll try to make it as quickly, smoothly, and hopefully we'll get some uh, messages for you of who may be coming towards you either in October or sometime after that. So this is for Capricorn Singles. So this is Mary, Leo Sunlight Insight. Did I say that already? I don't know. I'll say it again. So welcome if you're new and if you're returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Um, so I hope you like this. This is a new reading I'm adding to the channel that I will do monthly. So if you do like this, please give me feedback. Please do comment. I love to read the comments or like, share, subscribe. All that great stuff would be greatly appreciated. And I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, I have a variety of readings. I do for all the signs monthly, four different readings, so don't miss out on that. And I just want to give a shout out. Thank you to everybody who supported the channel in all different ways. Thank you so much for your donations, uh, personal readings, liking, sharing, subscribing, all that great stuff. Really means a lot to me. Help to grow the channel and being a part of that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Capricorn, who is coming towards you October? Singles, all right. So I hope everyone's doing well. Happy fall, happy fall, happy Halloween. All right, so first thing I'll do here, the Zodiac Oracle, we'll get a couple, um, may get an element sign, planet, I don't know, we'll see what we get. Just gonna pull a couple for you, Capricorn. All right, so who may be coming towards Capricorn? October singles. Oh, these two. Oh, we got Sagittarius and Aquarius. Hmm. Now, I mean, if you're totally single and you don't even have any interest in anyone, or maybe you're kind of sort of dating or kind of sort of like somebody or something like that, I mean, you're welcome to watch this. I do love connection readings separately if you're new not familiar with my channel um, those readings are done separately love connection readings these are for singles so if you're single and you do have an interest in one of these signs then this may be for you so next thing I want to do here is look to see what kind of person this will be um, like who are they what is their energy that may be coming towards you we'll pull Basically gonna pull one from each deck and then I got a tarot on the end there if I need to clarify uh, anywhere, we'll do that. So who is this person? What kind of energy are they in for Capricorn? So we have Aqua Aura, healthy communication in relationships, heart to heart discussions and clear assertive communication help you understand and be understood. So this is uh, blue here and also uh, green heart and throat chakra. This is someone's going to be very communicative. So if some of you, if it's an air sign or it could be um, Sagittarius with Aquarius in their chart, Aquarius with Sagittarius in their chart, somebody who has healthy communication and relationships and they listen and then they also communicate. So that's very good here. So that's a good energy. And you see the green there with the heart chakra. So I think it'll be somebody who's very, um, very expressive, but also very loving. Hmm, that's a nice energy. All right, so, that there. So let's look at now when. Like what, possibly uh, time of year or something like that. We'll see what we get here with the Moonology for you Capricorn. So when, 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 when for Capricorn, incoming, person who's coming towards Capricorn who's coming towards Capricorn we have adjustments are required third quarter moon so hmm and I'm not sure when that takes place with the third quarter moon um, it could be like towards the end of the month so third like the third week of the month and it could be I guess uh, any month so you may meet this person in the third week of the month of I don't know <laughs> could be any month all right all right I think I'm gonna pull one more spirit saying pull one more pull one more yep there we go <laughs> 
Spirit's like, this one, this one, take that one. A fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. So it could be during Aries season or now we have another sign, Aries. So Aries, Sagittarius, Aquarius. Could be the third week during Aries, which is March to April. So it could be like end of March or towards... Um, could be the end of March, like the third week of March or the third week in April here. So we have Aries season and that is, um, like I said, March into April. All right. So now we will look, look at like where, like what, like where, like where, where will you possibly meet this person? You know, uh, all right, we'll see. What we get here, I'd like to know where spirit, please. Could Capricorn possibly meet this person? Where spirit, please. Where could Capricorn possibly meet this person? Please, thank you so much. Where? Okay, we have two. We have father and mother. Wow. <laughs> so, wow. So it could be... Um, that maybe your parents or one of your parents knows one of their parents and maybe there's some sort of gathering or maybe even even a wedding or a party or a birthday and you run into this person through either through your mother or your father or something like that or their mother or father or something with mothers and fathers somehow um you will run into this person and you may know of this person or um, maybe you, even though, you know, we have mother or father here, you may be surprised that you've never met this person. Or maybe you've like heard of them, but you've never seen them, you've never met them. And all of a sudden there's something here where there's a party, a birthday party, anniversary party, a wedding uh, or a gathering or something and they're there and you end up meeting them. Okay, so... All right, let's look at, for you Capricorn singles now, how? I'm getting where um, through your mother and father could, like I said, be, you know, maybe, you know, you're out somewhere with your mother or your father and they run into this person um, and they introduce you to and it's like a connection right away or something like that you do have here a fiery climax approaches so I don't know so let's see how um, how 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 could you possibly meet this person that kind of I got that through there but let's see if we get something different here how could Capricorn fulfillment so like I said you see um, wine here and food so it could be you're out dining with your mother or your father and you run into this person also and out of nowhere maybe you don't even know this person at all for some of you it could be you know you're introduced through your mother or father while you're out dining or something or maybe at a winery or a vineyard or something like that out, out having a few drinks um, and you see this person and it's like whoa who is this person all right and it's funny too is 22 is about two people coming together, unity, so, wow, okay, so, and with the wine and the fruit, like I said, definitely could be a vineyard, or just out having drinks, having dinner, and you could be having dinner, drinks, whatever here, with your mother or your father, or both, you know, maybe it's a family, you know, you're going out to eat with the family, you know, just catching up, and you run into this person, you know, maybe you go to the bar, get a few drinks for everybody, and there they are, and you're like, oh, it's like an instant connection. All right, so with this deck here, what kind of connection will this be? If you, you know, run into this person, you meet this person, what kind of connection will this be for Capricorn? Single spirit, please. What kind of connection will this be? What kind of connection will this be for 
Capricorn singles. What kind of connection? Oh, they're giving me two. So we have here suffering in silence nine, and I believe this is the nine nine of wands, I believe. And balance. So I feel like this will be, and this is a Sagittarius card. That is so funny. And suffering in silence here is uh, air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So I think this, you know, nines are single energy. So it could be the two of you are very single, very lonely, very like suffering in silence. Like, when am I going to meet my dream person? When am I going to meet my person? I'm looking out into the distance and I don't see them. Where are they? It's like suffering, loneliness, alone, just suffering in the silence of being alone with that nine single energy. Then all of a sudden here comes this person bringing in a lot of peace, harmony, balance. Uh, and this is about connecting, people connecting with the temperance energy, having patience, you know, patiently waiting for your person, you know, patiently waiting. And then all of a sudden they're there and brings balance into both your lives and 11 to unity coming together. So I think this will be like an answered prayer, like this person, there, there they are, like there's my answered prayer. I wished for it, there it is. I've looked out for it and I prayed and here they come. Wow. So let's look at your advice. For the Le uh, Leo, yeah, well, I'm a Leo. I don't even know where that came from. All right, Capricorn singles. Let's look at your advice. Let's look at your advice, at your advice. Um, Capricorn, what's your advice with this incoming person of who's coming towards me? Ask your angels. Let's see if there's another one. So, you know, you may need to... Just, you know, you meet this person and it's like maybe a shock to you and you're like, mm, I don't know, maybe, or you're just shocked at how balanced it is. It's like an answered prayer. So this is really, you know, asking your guides, your spirit team, your gut, your intuition. Is this, you know, right for me? Is this person right for me? And I think you'll find the answer from within. Abundance. Wow. So your angels... Are, will tell you this could be a very abundant connection here for you. Wow, someone who's very communicative, who's very honest, open, and truthful, who I think will be very loving. It could be, you know, March, April. Something, you know, could meet them, like I said, dining out with your parents or the family or something, and catching up with your family. You go to the bar, get a drink, you meet this person. And it's like, whoa, there's the person I've been wishing and hoping and waiting for as I'm lonely and suffering in silence alone. And there they are to bring balance and abundance into my life. And your angels want you to know that. Wow. So, so I see fulfillment and abundance in the cups there. And cups do represent love. So I see love, a lot of love and communication and balance. And with the fiery climax, well, you know, passion. A lot of passion also. Um, and abundance is all also about stability. So I think it'll be very all all of it is here. Stability, <clears throat> love, passion, you know, honest communication. So now we have transformation here, which is 13, which I believe is the death card, which is Scorpio. So I mean, now we have a lot of signs here. We have Aries, we have Sagittarius, Aquarius, Scorpio. Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, so this is the ending of um, old ways. This is the transformation and uh, transformation out of being alone and ending that cycle, starting a new cycle, healing, transforming into this new connection. So, I don't know, let's see if there's anything else. All these cards are pretty much self-explanatory. Let's see if we can get Mother and Father. What is that about? Page of Earth. So, you know, this can be communication. This can be offers. It can be uh, something stable and grounded. You know, it could be just, you know, like I said, going out with your 
family and you know having a lot of positive communication uh, very stable I feel relationship with your family and this is also a stable offer coming in so this person may offer you something very stable stable and grounded in the future and that's uh, building long term all right what else three of earth three of pentacles so learning growing building together so very stable stable connection here and now the seven of earth a lot of earth energy here so i think you've been patiently waiting for your person you've been patiently waiting where is my person you know <laughs> when are they coming to me seven of pentacles energy is like planting the seeds and waiting waiting you know when is it going to happen patiently waiting balance is all about temperance all about patience too patiently waiting four of earth again <laughs> wow a lot of earth here so this is foundation stability you know just kind of keeping to yourself you know uh holding on to your foundation and what you're doing and just kind of going forward in life then all of a sudden here comes this person i feel like you're not going to want to let them go possibly you're going to want to hold on to them because all these are earth energy and that is very stable and that's your energy also very stable grounded energy uh growth abundance abundance here for the long term pentacles a long term slow steady growth and then we have messenger of fire on the bottom of the deck so you know very passionate communication between the two of you wow all right capricorn i hope you enjoyed this this is your singles reading who's coming towards me and uh please do like share comment subscribe give me some feedback i'll be doing these monthly and good luck to you and um as i always say i wish i knew light